Hi, I'm Yara and welcome to my channel. Today we are gonna paint Enchanted Forest on the wooden panel with acrylic paints. The names of the paints are on the screen and without further ado, let's begin. This wooden panel was actually painted over. Um, I painted over this painting because I just hated it so much. I have painted it like in autumn last year and I just couldn't stand it. I had it uh, hanging there on the wall and I didn't like it from the beginning. Um, it was called Spiritus. I didn't like how it turned out. I thought it was actually like a, a scene from a movie that I don't know. Like it's a frame from the movie I didn't watch. It's so foreign, um, I don't get it. But I have learned a lot from this piece. Um, so yeah, I actually don't hate any of my pieces. But anyways, I have decided to paint over this painting and I sanded it again and painted it white a few times. And now I decided I'm gonna paint this enchanted forest landscape on top of it and turn something ugly into something beautiful. Uh, I always love to do that and yeah, I am glad you're joining me on this journey. So painting on wood is always a bit challenging. I had explained all about my painting surfaces in a recent video of mine that is titled something like uh, the painting surfaces I use. Um, and yeah, the wooden panels are dry, very absorbent and um, the paint dries so quickly and I need a lot of it for it to be opaque and it's very hard to blend because of it. Um, and that's okay, that's okay because with the landscapes I don't have to blend that much. Um, especially now that I'm starting to be a little bit more loose with my brush strokes and I'm just stopping to be so perfectionistic about blending and rendering everything um, until the perfect finish because it actually looks better with the brush strokes but anyways um, I paint over it two times with the base colors because I lay them down so they are opaque so I can start to layer shadows and lights and details on top of them. So at least two base layers as you see here until I can start to work on the leaves and the distant details and highlights and stuff. When I paint over stuff, I actually make sure to paint just a little bit more layers um, than if I would paint on the new canvas, a new surface. And that is just because I don't want it to come through in like 200 years. I don't, I want it to be there um, behind the paint forever. And yeah, because of that, I I just make sure to layer a lot of layers, a lot of paint on top of the old painting. And about the glazing, I have decided to make it a challenge for this painting to really focus on the light, on this direct sunlight that is shining above the forest and those sun rays that are, are kind of um, going down through the trees on the forest floor. The two challenges that I took with deciding to paint this painting was old looking twisted trees and the sun rays. Um, those things are both hard on me and I am not used to them, they are not in my comfort zone. I always admi admired those old looking twisted magical trees, um, you know what I mean, those trees in Pinterest or in uh, some old Louisiana movie, um, some ancient forest kind of trees. Uh, that are just so twisted so weirdly but it just goes together somehow and we don't have those kind of trees in Slovenia where I live in Europe so I actually looked 
up references on the web and just practiced a little bit in my sketchbook before I started to paint this but I was intimidated by those kind of trees for a long time although I always admired them and actually always wanted to paint them but I always just stuck to the like classical um, normal looking trees and spruces and yeah because for some reason those twists and turns and textures were intimidating for me um, they just look kind of all over the place kind of random but they can go wrong so quickly like they can look very bad very quickly those types of trees um, so I really had to pay attention and take a really close look of the photos that I had as the references when I was preparing for painting this piece. Uh, with textures of the trees I'm still not confident, but the shapes I think I nailed. I am very, very uh, satisfied with the twists and turns and especially I like this one left on the back that is kind of really really just twisted for 360 degrees um, as you see it's just like turned and turned and turned and I really like that tree I'm really proud that I painted it but yeah anyway the second challenge as I said was about the light um, the direct light and the sun rays are really hard I need the glazing medium to do that and even with the glazing medium it's still hard but you know I did it and of course below where the sun ray is finished when the sun ray hits the floor um, there are some yellow really really bright highlights on the greenery and yeah I just I just had to have a really clear vision of 3d um, environments in the head all the time it was really not a mindless painting to do it was out of the comfort zone I could not watch series or do something else I really had to focus almost all the time when I painted this um, and that's good you know that is cool um, to challenge brain a little bit and kind of use the brain use the brain in all this era of technology and um, all these helpers that we don't have to use the brain um, it's good to do something challenging for it once in a while what actually inspired this piece was my current obsession with Akhtar uh, A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass um, there are book series and I love them and I am just in the fantasy movie my head is producing the images of the fantasy enchanted forests and landscapes and I I'm enjoying it really and yeah uh, this is just like the most the most classical very normal fantasy enchanted forest scene that I could think of it's like simple in my mind it's what I think first when I think about fantasy forest is this path that you are seeing right now for the final details I have decided to paint a little blueberries a little um, pink flowers that you don't see yet and mushrooms they are actually parasol mushrooms um, they grow here in Slovenia where I live uh, and they are edible we eat them we actually fry them um, or you know bake them uh, and they're good as like substitute for a steak they are really tasty and yeah they're called parasol mushrooms as the umbrella because they look like it and I love it I love this path it's like a being that is walking through this enchanted forest and they're walking home and they just pick a little dinner up along the way a little di dinner alongside the path they are walking uh, yeah I just love the concept of this many parasol mushrooms and some final sun rays to top everything up some final light and that is it for this painting process 
um, oh yeah and I also love this moss on the on the trees <laughs> I, I I think I nailed the floor I am not 100% excited I do not think this painting is perfect but I like it and yeah I hope you like it too and I hope you enjoyed watching this process and listening to me explaining and rambling art if you like the video please like it and subscribe if you're not already I post a new video every single Friday you can also check out my Etsy shop where I sell my prints originals and stickers along with this original and you can also follow me on Instagram where I share all of my works in progress behind the scenes and art studio and everything fun thank you so much again for your support and I will see you again soon next Friday in another video bye